using a ruler and a pair of compasses only, construct a quadrilateral ABCD such that the length of the side AB is 6.5 centimeters. The length of the side BC is 9 centimeters. The length of the side AD is 4 centimeters. The angle ABC is equal to 60 degrees and angle BAD is equal to 120 degrees. II construct L1. The locus of points equidistant from C and D. III construct L2. The locus of points equidistant from the line AD and the line CD. B locate P, the point of intersection of L1 and L2. And C measure the length of DP. So let's begin by constructing the quadrilateral ABCD. We are going to construct the quadrilateral ABCD. And we have been given the dimensions of the side AB, the side BC, and the side AD. We have also been given two interior angles, angle ABC and angle BAD. We will have to select one of the sides given to us as the base. I'm going to use the side AB, which has the length 6.5 centimeters as the base. To do this, I'll take the ruler and draw a long horizontal line just as we have been doing all along so i have my ruler here i'm going to draw my horizontal line the side i'm using as the base is the side ab with length 6.5 centimeters so i'll take the compass and measure 6.5 centimeters on the ruler measure 6.5 centimeters on the ruler using my compass after that i'll transfer it onto the line so I'll put the middle of the compass here, turn it, construct an arc to intersect the line. Then with the same radius, I'll move the middle of the compass to this point, turn it and construct another arc to intersect the line. I'm going to clean some parts of the arc so that we continue. I'll clean here and clean here, come here, clean this side and clean this side too. This will be point A and this will be point B. The length of the side AB is 6.5 centimeters. Now let's move on to the angles. We have angle ABC, which is 60 degrees, and angle BAD, which is 120 degrees. Let's begin with angle ABC, which is 60 degrees. So we are going to construct a 60 degrees angle on point B. To do that, you take the compass and you put the needle on point B. So I'll put the needle of the compass on point B. Then I'll adjust it a little bit to a reasonable radius. After that, I'll turn the compass and construct a semicircle on the line AB using point B as the center. After constructing the semicircle with the same radius that you use to construct the semicircle, you move the needle of the compass to this point, then you turn it and you construct an arc here. To get the 60 degrees angle, you draw a straight line to join the point of intersection of the arc and the semicircle to point B. So the angle formed at point B here is 60 degrees. The length of the side BC is 9 centimeters. So to get BC, we will measure 9 centimeters on the ruler using the compass. To do that, you put the needle of the compass on point zero, then you stretch the other parts to 9 centimeters, which will be 90 millimeters on my ruler. After getting that, I'll move the needle of the compass to point B. The side we are constructing is BC, and we have point B. So I'll put the needle of the compass on point B, then turn it and construct an arc to intersect the line that you constructed. The point of intersection of the line and the arc will give us point C. So we have point C here. I'm going to clean this part of the arc so that we can continue. Now let's move on to the other angle given to us. The other angle given to us is angle BAD, which is 120 degrees. 
So we are going to construct a 120 degrees angle on point A. To do that, we will move the needle of the compass to point A. Then you adjust it a little bit. After that, you turn it and you construct a semicircle on the line AB using point A as the center. After doing that, with the same radius that you use to construct the semicircle, you move the needle of the compass to this point. Then you turn it and construct an arc to intersect the semicircle that you constructed. To get the 120 degrees angle on point A, you will draw a straight line to join the point of intersection of the arc and the semicircle to point A. So the angle formed at point A here is 120 degrees. The question tells us that the length of the side AD is 4 cm. So to get AD, we will measure 4 cm on the ruler using our compass. So I'll put the needle of the compass on point 0. Then I'll stretch the other part, that is the part holding the pencil, to 4 cm, which is 40 mm on my ruler. After that, I'll move the needle of the compass to point A. The side we are constructing is AD and we have point A here. So I'll put the needle of the compass on point A, turn it and construct an arc to intersect the line here. The point of intersection of the arc and the line will give us point D. So we now have point A, point B, point C and point D. To get the side AD, we will draw a line to join point C to point D. So we have now constructed the quadrilateral A, B, C, D. The length of the side AB is 6.5 cm. The length of the side BC is 9 cm. The length of the side AD is 4 cm. The angle ABC is 60 degrees and angle BAD is 120 degrees. I'm going to take both the compass and the ruler off so that you can see the quadrilateral very clearly. We are now done with the first part of the question. The next part of the question says that we should construct L1, the locus of points equidistant from C and D. The locus of points equidistant from two fixed points is the perpendicular bisector of the line joining the two fixed points. So here, the locus of points equidistant from C and D will be the perpendicular bisector of the line joining point C to point D. So to get L1, you have to bisect the line CD. To do that, I'll take the compass and I'll put the needle on either point C or point D. I'll first put it on point D. Then I'll open the compass to more than half of the line CD. After that, I'll turn the compass and construct an arc here. Then I'll turn it to this side and construct another arc. With the same radius, I'll move the needle of the compass to point C. After that, I'll turn it construct an arc to intersect the first arc that I constructed, then turn it to this side and construct another arc to intersect the first one that I constructed. I'm going to clean this part of the arc and I'll clean here too. I'll come to this side and clean here and clean here also. To get the perpendicular bisector of the line CD, I'll draw a straight line to join the points of intersection of the two arcs. So we now have the perpendicular bisector of the line CD. The question says that this perpendicular bisector will give us L1. Let's move on to the next part of the question. It says that we should construct L2, which is the locus of points equidistant from the line AD and the line CD. The locus of points equidistant from two intersecting lines is the bisector of the angle formed between the two lines. So here, the locus of points equidistant from the line AD and the line CD will be the bisector of the angle formed between the line AD and the line CD. We have the line AD here and we have the line CD here. 
they meet at point D. So the angle formed between the two lines is formed at point D. To get the locus, we will have to bisect the angle formed at point D. To do that, I'll move the needle of the compass to point D. Then I'll adjust the compass to a reasonable radius. After that, I'll turn it and construct an arc to intersect the line AD and the line CD, just as I've done here. After this, I'll move the needle of the compass to this point. That is the point of intersection of the arc and the line CD. Then I'll adjust the compass a little bit, turn it, and construct an arc. With the same radius, I'll move the needle of the compass to this point. That is the point of intersection of the arc and the line AD. After that, I'll turn the compass and construct an arc to intersect the first one that I constructed. I'm going to clean this part of the arc and I'll clean this part also. To get the bisector of the angle formed at point D, we will draw a straight line to join the point of intersection of the two arcs to point D. The question says that we should call this locus L2. So we have L2 here. Let's move on to the next part of the question. It says that locate P, the point of intersection of L1 and L2. We can see from our construction that L1 and L2 intersect at this point. Their point of intersection will give us P. So we have P here. Let's move on to the last part of the question. It says that we should measure the length of DP. To measure the length of DP, you put the middle of the compass on either point D or point P. I'm going to choose point D. So I'll put the middle of the compass on point D. Then I'll stretch the other part to point P. In the same way, if you put the middle of the compass on point P, you stretch the other part to point D. Here, the middle of the compass is on point D. So I'll stretch the other part to point P. By doing this, I've measured the length of DP using the compass. To get the length of the line DP, I'll pick the ruler and put the needle of the compass on point zero. So I'll put the needle of the compass on point zero. Then I'll read the point where the part of the compass holding the pencil meets the ruler. On my ruler, the part of the compass holding the pencil miss the ruler at 49 millimeters the scale i'm using on my ruler is in millimeters and 49 millimeters is equal to 4.9 centimeters so the length of the line dp is 4.9 centimeters i'm going to take both the compass and the ruler off so that you can see the quadrilateral clearly 